Well, today we are talking about theater, 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 uh, Theater Row. It's on uh, Santa Monica Boulevard, I think near Gower. Uh, Gary Legault, how are you? Legault. 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 Oh. Legault. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Is that French? <laughs> yes, it is. Francaise? On my father's side. Mm -hmm. Where are you from mm -hmm. originally? I'm from uh, Duluth, Minnesota. Are you really? That's a great place. Yeah. I love mm -hmm. Duluth. I used mm -hmm. to work there when I was a kid. Gary, Nobody asked you me are that. an actor, mm -hmm. writer, yeah. director. You did something very, very funny. Just I understand it is a funny, interesting play that you wrote for Hollywood Lawn. Special. Uh, it started out as a vehicle for Debbie Reynolds. I oh, really, really had Debbie exactly. Reynolds in okay. mind. Okay. And um, uh, brought it to her and uh, was politely rebuffed by her secretary, <laughs> Marge Duncan, uh, who I've, I've invited to come see this anyway. Debbie's going to be out of town. She's going yes. to uh, Laughlin that weekend. She to works do her all the time. Show, she's got to pay those debts, you know, yeah. <laughs> that her husband yeah. left. Go yeah. ahead. She's singing Irving Berlin's I Love a Piano as her second act opening number. Uh, you asked about my second act yeah. opening number, I think, before we got, a, right. got going here. But I'll tell you about that. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. You know, you're a writer and uh, coming from Duluth, always as a young guy, Midwest, always wanted to be Hollywood no, writer. No, I grew director. up out here after I was 10 years old. Oh, my, you did? My family okay. Moved out okay. Here. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was so I could be near the studio, you know. Uh, but really, it was because my parents wanted an easier lifestyle. It was cold in oh. the winter, you oh. know. Back in Minnesota. Tell me about the play, Win in the Whittles. Yeah. I love that title. The Win in the Whittles. Uh, it's just a take off on a famous title that's been adapted by A. A. Milne uh, as a children's story, and um, it uh, has nothing to do with the original uh, um, Wind in the Widow. W w wind in the Willows. I yeah, can't even say willows, myself. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How about that? Um, <laughs> It is a sweet little tale of three Upper East Side Manhattan mm. socialites oh, okay. in the back seat of a limousine on their way to scatter ashes over a field in New Jersey where their late husband's corporate jet went down. Ah, and, and the it's star... Tragedy, it's a tragic comedy, I call it. <laughs> <laughs> and the star is lovely and very beautiful, Julian... This Julia Stoddard. Julia Stoddard. 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 That's an interesting name. German? Uh, I think uh, actually Irish. Irish. Yes. Oh, is it Stoddard? Okay. So. You're a wonderful actress. You studied in New York, did you? I did. I, I trained at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York. Uh huh. But also, you have a little side of comedy there. I you do. Were you know, I, I, I whisper that I was I was raised in Utah, and at a young age, I remember skiing, and I saw Robert Redford, and it was a very you know a moment where I thought, where did he train? So I rode my bike to the library. New York. And I looked at the book and... and That's where he trained. Yes. He was a great little actor, too. He trained right. very hard. At the American Academy? Yes, yes, oh. yes, right. yes, yes, right. yes. A lot of people. And his roommates. You know who some of his roommates were? Ooh, you wouldn't be surprised. No, no. I won't tell you, but okay, I'll tell no you right. after. <laughs> Do you know All who right. some of his roommates were? I don't. Guide roommates. Yeah. But anyway, getting back, growing up in... Uh, that's a good place to grow up. It's a good place to grow up and a great place to, to run from and go to New York and, and London as well. But it's, it's a quiet little place. So you, you came to California yes. from not to New York, just uh, from New York to California. That's right. Interesting. You didn't stay in, you didn't stay in New York to do the theater? You know, or you I, wanted to be films? I, you know, I love both. I love both. I think ideally I see myself musical theater in New uh -huh. York, but I'm, I'm doing television and film in Los Angeles and taking every opportunity. Tell me about the part you're doing in the, in the play. Sure. Well, it's a new play by Gary Legault. Uh -huh. It's the second play that I'm in, and uh, Gary has such great writing for a creative artist. Mm -hmm. um, it's interesting. It's dark humor, very, mm -hmm. very dry humor, and a lot, he gives a lot for an actor to work with. Uh -huh. So the play is about, as we were mentioning, the three Upper East Side women. I'm society actually ladies. Society women, yeah. yes, on the East Side. And I'm actually playing kind of the younger Debbie Reynolds, spoiled, jaded, entitled, um, <laughs> irritated lead who is, uh -huh. it's, it, we're in my chauffeur driving through the ashes where we're going to 
You got a hot, you got a hot chauffeur driver there. We do. I he is hot. You have to. Yes. Yeah. Yes. His name is David Michael Trevino, and yes. he is Italian. a singer. A nice. Oh, he's uh, a singer. Yeah, he is a singer. He sings professionally. Uh, he sings in uh, the choir over at uh, Church of the Good Shepherd in Beverly Hills, oh, I believe, how sweet. regularly. Mm -hmm. But he does other uh, religious ceremonies and uh, uh, weddings and. Uh -huh. uh, you know, Italian all boy. sorts of good looking Italian I think boy. he's uh, I think he's Latin actually and what? he's from Texas originally. Oh, okay. uh, he told me he taught music for many years. He reads sight reads very well. He's very good looking. Uh -huh. He's gonna be wonderful in this role. He's a really great singer. And here are the other two girls in the show, the ladies. Guy. Yes, well Tony Trenton and uh, she Tony? she's Tony plays Andrea from uh -huh. South America uh -huh. and Gary. Oh, uh, Tony uh, taught acting for Lee Strasberg for a while, and I didn't know was his secretary for a, a, a year or two, or maybe uh -huh. more. Maybe she said four years. I can't uh -huh. remember. She, she has had. She was in uh, My Fair Lady as a dancer, directed by Cukor. She was in something directed by Jerry Lewis. Wow. Something by Leonard Nimoy. Okay. Uh, and she is getting on in years. Uh -huh. She's uh, in her golden years now. She's doing her some, some of her best work. She's just fantastic mm -hmm. in the role of this Argentinian mm -hmm. woman who comes and marries a New York businessman mm -hmm. when they're both young. And you're at a theater called The Complex on Santa Monica. That's it's a right. Yeah. Very interesting theater. Like you said, it's a box. Small theater. How many does it seat? It has 55 seats. 55, it holds. 55, ladies mm. and gentlemen. Isn't yeah. that wonderful? I yeah. love I love those little theaters. It's intimate, mm. uh, yeah. but this one has high ceilings and uh, a nice stage, uh -huh. a raised stage, comfortable uh, loge type seats, uh -huh. and uh, very comfortable. And you're well, opening, they're not quite loge, opening but, Thursday, uh, are you? This Thursday? Yes, we're opening Friday, actually, Friday. only running three, three what night, three two nights, nights only. one afternoon, uh, one week, one week. Why? This was originally going to be a reading uh, with uh, another actor in it who had agreed to do it, but <laughs> couldn't, unfortunately. Yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. so since we were wedged in for one week, now if we get some business, if people want to come see this and be entertained it seems like in an these recession times, yeah. have a little lift. We all this need is, to laugh. This is a delightful laugh. new musical with lovely melodies and very witty lines and uh, sophisticated characters. So people do sing in the play then. It's oh a yes, musical. it's a musical. It's, it's, it's fun, it's light, and I think it's definitely get people out of the, the heaviness of life. And it, it's just a How many songs do you have in the, sh in the show? Well, I have three solos that uh -huh. I'm looking forward to. And uh -huh. total, we have what, seven seven songs? There are nine seven. songs in really? the show. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. yeah. You brought a clip, just a little clip. Can we just... We brought a clip of Slip. Julia as Marilyn Monroe in January's production of Dr. Right. Noguchi down there at the complex. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. Dr. Noguchi, we're going to talk a about that in a minute. Let's, let's show Julia this clip of uh, as, uh, Julia. Marilyn. Of Marilyn, yeah. Marilyn's and always. Hayden Lee plays Dr. Mm -hmm. Noguchi, oh. the Give famous all coroner. You got. Uh -huh. okay. You think I did it for the money? A bunch of quarters in my hands? The money don't mean shit, man. Not shit. Look at you, the doctor. Come to tidy up. Your nice and perfect little study, your clinical report. Well, study this, Jack. There ain't no hope for folks like me. No magic panacea. It's sudden comfort and margaritas. It's bombs away and sayonara. You can study all you want. You'll never tame the beast inside. So what's in your prescription, doctor? You got something for the heart, the mind, the soul, the spirit? Because there is nothing, nothing you can give. So just kill the pain and let it die. Cut it, kill it, lay it on the table. You can study all you want. You'll never change what really is. So let it go now, doctor. Let it rage. Let me have my peace. Miss Chocolate, I would never do anything to hurt you. I love you. That was <laughs> really Janice Joplin. Janice, Janice, yeah. but she's great. You played Janice Joplin? I did. Oh, I, I, it was Dr. Noguchi. I got to play the dual role of Marilyn Monroe uh -huh. and Janice Joplin. And you sang, too, as, as Janice Joplin um, in, the play, in this 
In this particular play, I didn't sing. Uh, in the new play, I will be singing. But those roles were, for an actor, it was fantastic. Uh, Marilyn Monroe, the one, if they, people want to see that clip, they can go to YouTube and get yes, it. Yes, and that just it. look That's up right. Dr. Noguchi. Spell out the word right. doctor, don't abbreviate, Noguchi, yeah. <laughs> and Noguchi. it'll come to that clip, Marilyn uh, and Noguchi. Uh, okay. Yeah. You're enjoying doing this row, are you, right now? I, I am. The three I, are they bitches? Are these girls bitches? Or? <sighs> You know, I, perhaps they are challenging, but they have a lot of soul. They're definitely catty. They're definitely for uh -huh. each other's throat, but at the same time, they really have each other's back. And uh, you can see the, the multi-layers in the writing. Mm -hmm. Like a Joan Collins type. Yes. Yeah. I went She's to see them. Right uh, I, I went to see Legends not too long ago. This is much more entertaining than any Legends. Oh, good. I These girls you. get up and sing. <laughs> do they really? And we do. with their veils on yeah. and the urns. This is oh. a serious comedy for the depression. <laughs> Will lift your spirits and give you the strength to go on. <laughs> That's what we need, isn't it? And we all got to be cremated, darling. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Julia, sing a little from the <laughs> sing sisters in grief okay um <laughs> yeah or how about you? that man that man sing a little of that man okay, that's it okay that's the um, ballad that's good that's okay. better that man i had only come for nothing there was nothing i Good. Thank got you. a great voice. And there's a little piano. You got to come and sing in. for me at That's the Prego. So oh, you would love it. I have a girl who does eat it pee off the Prego. She's oh, wonderful. Nice. And we have uh, I. She does also Janis Joplin too. Oh. That song's the heavy one. She's really good. You there's a rousing second it. act number you asked about. It's yes. on the flyer there. Yes, um, I did. Yes, it's yeah. a yeah, it yeah. blows. And it's it's called a ragweed mm. blows in Jersey. Right. It's an <laughs> up tempo little tune to get right. everybody's juices going, going at the beginning, at of, the the show, beginning of Act great. Two. Yes. That's no, no, great. no. This is Act Two. Wake up. It's oh, in wake, three okay. acts. Oh, it's a three act show. Yes, it is. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So three act have, musical comedy. But only one week. This is not. We'll get it. Uh, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll, maybe it'll play again later somewhere soon. But, uh, you know, right before Halloween, I just wanted to throw that out there this year. <laughs> you live in West Hollywood, yes? Yes, I do. I've lived here about 23 years really? now. Really? Yeah. Living here? Tell wow. me about you. Where do you live? In the area? I live on Doheny. And Doheny? That's uh, West Hollywood. Right, four years. Yeah. Yeah. It's, but living here, you had fun? I had fun in the old days before it was gentrified, but now that there's no art supply store over on Palm <laughs> Avenue or no pen and paper anymore, what's a writer supposed to do in this gentrified town? There's, the, there's that one frame Aaron Brothers store. Did you ever but, meet Truman Capote? Yeah. Did I you didn't. Know? You know, I, I used to guy. hang out at one of, me of the, the after hours yeah. bars he liked to go to with Lee Radswell in New York, but I never saw him. I never met... Uh, there used to be Tennessee a gay bar Williams, on La really Cienega. I don't remember. He used to go there outside, have lunch, fly in. I don't remember that place. What is it called? Also, uh, Martha Ray used to go there a lot, too. Yes. What was it called? Uh, the Garden District. That's it, the yeah, Garden yeah. District. Oh, yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I, it was before my time here in West Hollywood. I was uh -huh. on the East Coast when all of that was mm. going yeah, on. Yeah, I was here in the 70s. I didn't have time to run around with movie stars. I was stage managing and directing and working with serious artists. In you know, New York. Doing theater, yes. Yeah. Mm. And working a job in a, in a factory on the side. To you stay were, really. And now you're doing are you in law? Are you in law? Tell uh, me about that. I assist for a, a law firm downtown, a very nice firm uh, uh -huh. that I work, where I work. Mr. Uh, Munger heads the firm. It's Munger, Tolls, and Olson. It's a very nice firm. They put up with me and let me go out on <laughs> vacation once in a while to do these things. Uh -huh. Tell me about this play. How long did it take you to write this? 
Ah, uh, it took about two weeks after two I got Two weeks, it. I love it. Well, you know. <laughs> You yeah, I know. I know. These things germinate in my mind for mm. years. I love it. You yeah, see? Dr. Noguchi took about 20 years to come to fruition. Dr. Noguchi is that Marilyn Monroe yeah, that's brain. The, yeah. Yes. The brain of Marilyn Monroe. Tell me about that show, Dr. Noguchi. It was, a, it was a blast. I The show opens and they're... I've lost my brain because he's taken my brain. Uh -huh. And the show opens with your writing with a comedic obstacle of I want my brain back because I can't uh -huh. go to heaven because I can't remember who I am. Uh -huh. So that's they how They ask it at the gate, who's yeah. there? When she knocks at the heavenly gate, they always say, well, who's there? And she can't remember. <laughs> that's right. She's got no brain. The doctor's taken it. So what does her ghost do? He, she comes back, tiptoes down to earth and gets in a tug of war with Noguchi that's over right. a beaker containing the right, cerebellum, right. you know, in solution. And it hops out onto the floor. They, the night uh, they were there with the camera, they made a basket, boom, right yeah. into the, Marilyn's <laughs> yeah. brain, yeah. right into the yeah. trash. Yeah, yeah. Marilyn Monroe, God, mm. they keep saying that she was murdered, murdered. Mm. She, she overdosed. She just forgot how many pills she took. Mm. The last person she was talking to on the phone was Peter Lawfer. That was the last person. Mm. She was sleeping and talking. Do you have that clip of Marilyn? You want to show it? Oh, we would love to see. Oh. He, he set it up now. Oh, see, well, here is it a little smart. From that is Demetria. He's going to yeah, set. Yeah. We're going to show you that Marilyn. You Julia, don't have to go, you don't have to, go to YouTube. How did you see the call? Hayden. Was it murder or was it suicide? Doctor, please. But inquiry minds want to know. Oh, won't you, won't you allow me a little privacy? Some shred of dignity if I have time to demise. You've taken my brain, and now you want to know all my personal business too. But your fans. May I count you as one of them? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Then shame on you. Oh, never mind. It doesn't matter. As Mr. Zanico always used to say, well, I can't remember what he used to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm brainless. <laughs> Was it a bye-bye baby? No, never. Was it thanks ever so? Yes. You won't be needing it where you're going. Oh. <laughs> that was great, Marilyn. You're really good. Oh, thank you very much. You so you do Janice, Marilyn, and what else? Anyone else? But you're a comedian. Share, little oh, share, you do share? I do a little share. You sing share. I you? can. I do a little share. Uh -huh. She's so. I fun. really would love you to come to Pragles Monday night. Thank you. I would. Would you do that for me? I would be honored. I would. Love I would to. love you. I have a great piano player. Just tell him your keys. Okay. David knows everything. And he's really good. And then you know what we can do? We can bring flyers and talk about the show and pass it around. But it been see, last night would have been great, but it's too yeah, late now. That would, the, the flyers, let's just, if you see these around, let's just They're hold it here, up. If look, you see it around, there's one on the uh, window of uh, Video West. Uh, some yeah, if you along see them the around, bar. that's what it is. That's the, the number to call. Uh -huh. Call and make and a reservation make, or just go to the theater. Go to the theater, which is the complex. November on, uh, 20, uh, October 22nd, October 23rd, uh -huh. Thursday and Friday at 8 p.m. PM. And the 24th at 2 p.m., a matinee. Mm -hmm. Only three performances, and three. then we, we may this reopen is, somewhere else. See, this is very <laughs> special, ladies and gentlemen. Only, wow, G Gary, you keep it very special. The show must be special, huh? I think so. So I love. I just want it to go be ahead. good. I, you, you will be entertained. I promise you, you will be well entertained. Is there time to show a little clip of my movie with Hollywood Lawn? That's the third clip. Is it? I'd Can like we show the third see. clip? This is the film <laughs> of I Hollywood made Lawn. With, uh, Try Holly. to find it. And yeah. uh, yes, okay. Uh, I'll okay, give you a minute. In, yeah, in, we love in, that. In Hollywood Lawn is, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Andy Warhol's dear friend. Right. I've done se several shows with her. She's kind of a, a difficult lady to get to. She is difficult. Gary, come Holly on. Holly is a great talent, and I love Holly very much. And Holly, if you're out there watching today, uh, well, I would she is love a great to talent. have I don't, you in this. Still, you could be a great talent, but still Holly. be difficult, darling. But, you know, you know, yeah. sometimes some things are meant to be. Um, 
We worked together. We did. Uh, I, I shot Holly's nightclub act for her in New York many years ago when she was at a oh, club. Did you really? Uh, hmm. R Lewis Friedman's uh, uh, snafu on uh, hmm. what was it, Seventh uh, Avenue, Sixth Avenue. Uh, did Andy really was fond of Holly? I understand they they were close, but Andy never did a portrait of Holly, did he? No, uh, no. The no, but they so were found. So because you know. I remember in Garden Grow, a garden uh, out in the. Uh, in the Long Island area, where the you know where Andy used to go on his summertime, where was it? Uh, uh, way out at Montauk. No, yeah, something is, like is that. Where his yeah. house was hmm. eventually, I heard. I don't yeah. know. In, in the in the sixties and seventies, you're yeah. talking about sixties. Yeah, I wasn't Late there during that. Yeah. I didn't. You ready? Right. We'd love to see it. Okay. This, this is, is a little bit of a movie that I made uh, with Holly. I wrote the role just for Holly. It's called, it called East of the Tar Pits. It's okay. about a girl who comes from New York. I LA. have it. Yeah, I watch have it. Sometime. It. Yes. 5.30 in the morning. And every seedy looking character in town is hanging out here. <laughs> Some introduction to Hollywood and I have to come through the back door. I wonder if this is how Rita Hayworth arrived in LA. I doubt it. Rocco mustn't live very far if it only takes him five minutes to get here. I wonder if he lives near Hollywood and Vine. Oh, I wish I knew my way around town. I hate feeling so lost and forsaken. Why, I might even be induced to do something that I should never Ready? be going to ah! Oh, Rocco, thank God it's you. I don't know what I would have done if it hadn't been for you. I needed to get away from New York. I needed to break and oh, there was no one I could turn to. Well, you're looking good. You've seen the film? Uh, you know something? I did see it, and I loved it. And I, I told Holly, when I, this is about a year ago I got it, right? I sent you mm. a rough is copy. That, is it's that still you? not ready to mm. be released. Maybe next year, in January, mm. it'll finally be released. On, who's in the film? On Hollywood Lawn? That is Frank Messina with her, who's right. opening mm. at uh, the Gardenia. Uh, about a week after our show over mm. at the complex. Right, right. Yeah, he, Frank is doing a night, uh, a Tuesday or a Wednesday at the Gardenia. He's a great this singer. Week? Yeah. The, is he really? At the oh, Gardenia terrific this singer. Week? Yeah. Mm. Uh, no, in about two weeks. Oh, I love yeah, him. Or I think he's week. great. Yes, I know. Yeah. Frank Messina is in the uh, film Tar Pits with uh -huh. Holly. Yeah. Also, Robert Sherman, the Maplethorpe model. Uh -huh. uh, is in a scene that we didn't see. But it'll be coming out uh, on DVD in January, probably, oh, okay. of next year. You know, I really don't want to put together with Charles Casello, who just did this wonderful movie called um, Fetish. And Joan Collins got an award for it. And he is looking for a director to do Mamie Van Doren, Charles, you hear me? <laughs> Found the director for you, this young man. Is just perfect, Gary. Look, you 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 came right in the right time for Charles's new movie with Mamie Van Doren. Uh, Would I you be interested? May, I think Mamie <laughs> that's, that's Van Doren do is do phenomenal it. as a personality. Playing Dracula, as, ladies as and gentlemen. As an Dylan. actress, is she a serious actress, Mamie yes. Van Doren? Oh, she can be. She 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 does of very. Of course, I haven't a seen a here. lot of her films. You haven't. I've seen her. She's sexy and all yes, that, but uh, no, she's done some serious things. Mm -hmm. I, I know she was a great beauty in comedians, her day. Comedians, comedians huh? like her. She can do dramatic scenes from one thing to another, see? Sure. There's pathos in there. there uh, she lots. has a great singing talent. We're just beginning to tap into it. Uh, she <laughs> admires the best, and she's Thank going you. to be like a young Barbara in the theater in this one. If really? we get her warmed up and comfortable mm. with these tunes, she's got a couple more rehearsals. Uh -huh. And she's got a ballad. She's got a, a ragtime number. She's and got she's everything fun with in it. This. I see it. Yeah, it she's is fun. It's, what, is there anything what, better? That's, this is the that's best. That's what it is all about, isn't it? Who do you Thank study you. acting with in uh, just at the, at the American, uh, that's at, it? At the American Academy, yes. I had uh, three great coaches there. And then voice, I studied with Joan Coben in mm -hmm. New York. She mm -hmm. coached Liza Minnelli years ago. Uh, a little bit of Susan Batson in uh -huh. New York. She's excellent. 
Don't and who act did you study me. with? I uh, study with. Yes. Uh, let's see. I studied with uh, Charles Ludlam, uh, Jackie <laughs> Curtis. Uh, I worked with <laughs> Divine. Um, <laughs> who else did I study with? Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> I, I worked with those people no, you at, did. At, at various times. But um, you enjoyed your rec I, more I studied so than voice, writing. Yeah. I had no idea she had such a good singing voice. Oh, she you. was in this other uh, straight play by me uh -huh. earlier this year, and she wasn't required to sing. You know, it was an intellectual drama, uh -huh. uh, and about Hollywood. And right. uh, okay. I had no idea she sang, but I, uh -huh. you know, when Holly couldn't do this, uh -huh. I was able to get Julia, and she has this phenomenal voice. Oh, I'm you. just thrilled listening to her singing my music. Thank you. Uh, it almost sounds good. <laughs> I <laughs> to love me. the songs. It's Half beautiful good, songs. at least you know. Uh, beautiful. I, I think she, Are you I writing think anything else good. right now? Uh, this is my first musical. I've never written a musical before. Mm, never. Incidental little songs in some of my movies and things that I've made, but uh, this is my first full musical. And comedy. It's musical comedy mm. because you use the comedy. Those lines, those words, I can just see, mm -hmm. comes right out there, right? Mm -hmm. Very witty. Yes. Uh, the, the irony is its punchline is comic, but some of those ballads to me it remind me of like Stephen Soundheim. They have such a, a deep, uh -huh. deep soul to them, and they're just beautiful. I feel so fortunate to, to be singing them. Oh, thank you, oh, Julia. Beautiful. Well, when the muse comes and perches on your shoulder around <laughs> 11 o'clock in the evening, you better write it down. That's all I can tell you, because it doesn't come every day, these songs. No, no. The Complex Theater, ladies and gentlemen, is a small little theater on Santa Monica, but it's a good theater to see good shows. I've seen some great shows around mm. that area, really. I just saw Pippin. Pippin is across the street right now mm. at the wonderful little theater called The Hudson. Mm. That I recommend very highly to Pippin. I've it's heard a nice things show. about them. Yeah, yeah. the cast uh -huh. came in last night uh -huh. mm. and they all sang for me mm. and passed their invitation cards out and they were just wonderful. They really are. I love good singers. Uh, I think you'll sure. find some good singers in, in the show. We mm -hmm. have uh, a couple of really outstanding singers. We also have an English woman mm -hmm. who has mm -hmm. been a dancer and singer in Las Vegas for many years. Oh, great. We Play. need some bring yeah, them in, darling. Yeah. We love it Monday nights, yeah. okay? Oh, I at Prague's. And, and we'll come to see you Chatterton. Thursday, Friday, Saturday yeah. at the wonderful uh, complex. Right? Thank you. Yeah. Yes. You're welcome. You're a wonderful wonderful lady by coming here this afternoon. It's raining out there, right? <laughs> We're live here in West Hollywood. My pleasure. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what weather, huh? Yeah, they're doing the fantastics Peaceful. down there at the complex right now. Is one of their running shows. It is. That's it, a mm -hmm. lovely musical if you've ever heard it. I'm sure you have. Uh -huh. uh, I got to see Jerry Orbach in something one day, finally. Uh -huh. uh, 42nd Street, I think, years ago. What a great voice he had, don't you think? Yes, it's great. That big bellows could just fill a house, mm -hmm. and uh, that's how our tenor is. He's got mm -hmm. a set of pipes voice. on him, yes. wouldn't you say? Huh? Very clean, pure, beautiful voice. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Thank you both very, oh, very thank much. Thank you. Julie, I wish you luck, and you come in Monday for me, okay? I will definitely. And bring those people there, because we need good performers like you to perform. And clubs, you like to perform in nightclubs? I do. Supper I definitely clubs? do. There are very few supper clubs around. They have nightclubs, right. but supper clubs. Intimate, you know. That's great, like the Bonsoir used to be in mm. New York. Mm. Thank you so very much. You're welcome. You're it's wonderful. It's nice of you to have us I wish you, for Gary, this. Thank, I really think thank you, you should Skip. talk Thanks, to Skip. Charles, okay? And <laughs> Charles Cosello, he needs a director. I'm up for You're a good just director. about anything. <laughs>